here today. Um, she represents MG. Um, Emily Douglas is a good friend to the Go Green Initiative. In fact, last summer, um, she came into the office, which if any of you have been to my office, it's very cramped, it's very small. We had 12 interns in there, and she brought two other staff members from NG. And they talked to my students about energy efficiency and got them all fired up. And that is why we've chosen the project that we chose this summer, because that's what they wanted to work on. And I have Emily Douglas to thank for that. So please help me welcome to the stage, Emily Douglas. support the amazing work that the Jill and our Green Initiative are doing. At NG Services, we are a team of engineers, construction managers, communicators, financiers, designers, um, who design and build renewable energy and energy efficiency projects for public agencies. Um, from our office right here in Oakland, we've helped cities like Livermore and Dublin reduce their energy use and generate clean energy. In fact, right here in Pleasanton, we just recently built a solar project out of the fairgrounds. Um, and in all of our partnerships, we are truly committed as an organization to collaboration, to local job creation, and, and the human impact of energy. And that's why we're so proud to support the work that, that Jill and the, the Army of Students do for Pleasanton, for communities all over the, the country, and, and truly for the, the global environment. Um, the, the student at our, at our table spoke very eloquently just now about, um, about how this is our home, and we have to take care of it. Uh, and I spoke with um, a, a bunch of the interns just now uh, before before the meal, and I'm just I'm touched and impressed with the variety of skills they're bringing to these internships and the variety of perspectives and ideas um, that they're that they're bringing to, to this experience. Um, I know Pleasanton to be to be a special place, and, and you can see that in the room today, not just in the students, but also in, in all of us grown-ups who are here. Um, there are so many different parts of the community coming together to support the young people of this community. Um, and, and we're doing it today, and we're doing it throughout, um, throughout their summer experience ahead, and, and through how Pleasanton is as a community. And that's, that's so powerful. Um, I've worked personally in sustainability for more than a decade, and I feel tremendously lucky that my job is harnessing the power of the market um, and the power of economics to make environmental change. Um, and I can, I, I can bet and I verify a little bit that some of the students in the room today um, have already had maybe a formative experience about the environment, um, like I did, um, that, that propelled them, them into the work they're going to do this summer. Um, so I, the, the trash videos were great, the pictures were great, because I remember weighing my family trash when I was a kid, um, and timing my showers as well, because uh, we have a whole competition. Um, and I also had a, um, a very special seventh grade English teacher who I remember picking up cans while he walked in the woods. Um, and, and he brought that into the classroom as an experience and as a, um, as, as a teaching tool to, to care for the environment. Um, so, the, the, and that's what, what brought me to my career, and I feel so lucky that I get to bring that, that passion to my, my day job every day. Um, one of the really powerful things about the Go Green Initiative is that we don't know quite which experience this summer could be that touchstone memory for one of the students. Um, or that story that gives them a mission in life. Um, but we also do know that they will all gain real specific job skills to complement the excellent education they've already had in this community. Um, and I heard some of the skills already come out from different students. Um, and it doesn't necessarily, I work with a lot of engineers, um, very good engineer, but it doesn't necessarily mean engineering to solve the problem. It, it's also communication and persuasion. Um, and I've heard lots of those different skills from, from students this morning. Um, so I'm, you know, and I think the educators, especially in the room, know that, that it's going to be that magic, the combination of knowledge and, and skills, and then really the drive to make a difference that's going to that's going to propel the, the young people of this community forward. So for the last 40 years, California has been on the leading edge of not just environmentalism, but also the business and the value of conservation. Um, while, while the rest of the country has, has grown their own energy use by, by 50%, California has kept it steady since the 70s, and that's something we can be really proud of for capita. Um, and these two things, the, the business and the environmental piece, they don't always work in concert. Um, but when I see a community like this today that can bring together different perspectives and different people um, to support the, people, the, the future of its young people, um, I have faith that we can walk that line and make that balance um, together. So, now I'm going to pass the baton to the student speakers. 
which uh, feels really perfect um, since I'm inspired that I am also passing my professional work uh, on to them. Their generation will carry forward the, the absolutely critical work for all of us of reversing climate change.